and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial this time we are going to have some fun with Google Forms now Google Forms are always great if you want to collect data on people you want to get some information and if you want to get some feedback so let's say that you've just finished a lesson or a training session and you would like to get some feedback Google Forms will enable you to send out a form all your attendants or all the children that have been in the class fill out the form and you instantly collect that data now there is a really really useful function within forms and that is whenever someone sends you their information you can automatically push out a message and file now this could be a certificate of attendance this could be a welcome letter whatever you want it to be so in order to do this let's start by creating our form I would highly suggest that you create a separate folder for each form this way it will be easier to change the files afterwards I've just called this folder fun with forms and I'm going to click on new and create a Google form this opens a new tab and I can now name my form let's call this form fun with forms okay and I will request some information let's start with question number one name okay I can select text make this a required question add an item for a second question this will be the email address so I can ask for an email address this is also a required question and this will be text now under text there is an advanced setting so when I click on that I can validate this so let's validate that and look for text containing an email address this way I can ensure that people only fill out email addresses okay I have name and email address that's enough for the purpose of demonstrating this function but you can add as many questions as you would like so let's click on done we now have a form with a name and email address we can obviously change the theme so we can choose any theme here so let's just quickly go with let's say this nice team fun with forms name email address okay our live form will look like this uh, this is what your students will receive okay let's close this form you will see that Google has automatically created a form and a spreadsheet now when you open this spreadsheet you will see a timestamp a date and the email address this is where you will get all the results that have been sent to you and this is where the fun starts I can use an add-on within Google spreadsheets to automatically push out certificates welcome letters whatever I want now in order to do that I have to install the add-on Autocrat so go ahead and search for Autocrat and install the add-on once you've done that let's go and create our certificate so let's click on new Google Docs I will create a certificate just to say congratulations or thank you for attending I have now finished creating my certificate so it's time for us to create a merge job within our spreadsheet so let's open our spreadsheet open the add-on Autocrat and click on launch you will now be presented with a nice red button which says new merge job so let's go ahead and click you are now presented with two options you can either choose a template from your drive or you can create a new one seeing as we've already created our certificates here we are going to click on drive and within the folder fun with forms we select our certificate select 
Now, what Autocrat is doing right now is it is analyzing this document and is looking for the merge tags. As you can see down here, I have only one merge tag, and in this case, it is name because I want this certificate to be personalized, so I want my form to take the information from someone filling it out and input their name into the certificate. So let's see how that works. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and Autocrat. We can name the merge job, so let's name this fun with forms. Set. Autocrat has automatically detected my name tag and here it asks where I would like the information to come from. So I want it to come from the name column. We can now click on save. And what we have to do now is we have to select a new file naming convention to use. So in this case I just want it to be certificate of attendance. Select the file type you want to create. This will be a PDF. And I also want to email the merged documents. In order to email it to my respondent, I need to copy this code, which says email address. And what this does for me is it looks at the information it has and it links the name with the correct email address and sends it out. So my subject will be certificate message. Thank you for watching. Please find your attached certificate. Include the merged document as a PDF file attachment and very important within our advanced settings we have to make sure that Autocrat runs when a new form is submitted. So tick this box and click on save. From now on whenever a form is filled out Autocrat will automatically send out the certificates. So let's go and test this. Let's take our share link for our form, open a new incognito window so we can pretend to be someone else and let's fill out the form. So let's go ahead. Fun with forms, name, city, and I would like to have my certificate sent to the following email address. I can now submit this form, so let's click on submit. Thank you for submitting. And if everything worked the way it's supposed to work, I should now receive an email. So let's just refresh my inbox. And here it is. The email has been sent. It says certificate as subject. And when I open this email, it says, thank you for watching. Please find your attached certificate. Let's go ahead and look at the certificate. Thank you for watching Flip Classroom Tutorials. The certificate is awarded to and my name. I hope this was useful. Let me know how you've used this in class or during trainings and I will do my best to create more videos like this. As always, please subscribe and do let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next.